We're just yards from the Austrian border in Germany with the brand new i4. And what BMW wanted to do with this car was make a BMW that drivers recognize, something like the BMW 3 Series or the 4 Series, but make it on an electric platform. So when you drove it, when you got in it, you actually felt comfortable. You felt at home with a regular BMW, but they failed. They failed in one major thing. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second. Because when you get in this vehicle and drive it, your mouth will drop. Why did I say they failed to make it like any regular BMW? Now, because I've never been in any BMW where you can put your foot down and do this. Holy cow! That is unbelievable. That is in sport boost mode and it goes like the wind. I mean, that is unbelievable, especially for an electric vehicle. I've got to do it again. Oh, I'm actually frightened. I spent the day driving the new i4, most of it in sport boost mode and couldn't stop smiling. I want you to watch this. It's so incredible. I can't even tell you. The sport boost feature in this vehicle just makes me so happy. Around 180 kilometers of driving and flooring the accelerator at every opportunity. And I want to show you something. I'm going to put my foot down and you want to see this vehicle move. <laughs> that is 140 kilometers an hour from going 25, just like that. And to be honest with you, it scared me a bit. And the space age sound, that was brilliant. There will be two versions of the new BMW i4 on sale later this year, the eDrive 40 and the M50. It was the M50 that we drove in Germany and it has more than sports boost driving mode. Then you go to your comfort mode, which is of course the most comfortable mode that you can drive in. Your sport mode gives you a little BMW dynamic driving, but if you hit your sport mode, you get a menu option, which is your sport boost mode. And that turns on all of the bells and whistles, gives you a great sound and put your foot down. And that's when you get that individual sport driving feeling. The i4 M50 does 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, has 536 horsepower, a range of 245 miles, and can recharge in 10 minutes on a DC fast charger to get 88 miles, according to BMW. So how do you recognize this vehicle is electric as opposed to an ICE or an internal combustion engine? Well, there's a few clues on the outside. Notice the blue inside the light. There is blue that goes around the emblem, the BMW emblem here. And you'll notice that the grille here at the front is actually solid. And those are clues that this doesn't have a gasoline engine on the inside. Two large screens, a 12.3 inch information display and a 14.9 inch control display. Advanced graphics and powerful software based on BMW's operating system 8. The heads up display is extremely useful because it gives me my turn by turn navigation and it also gives you your speed and tells you what the posted speed limit is. BMW are masters at creating the perfect combination between the sporty drive and the long haul touring car, laden with high tech, lightweight design and modern ecological materials. The new i4 M50 is stealthy. BMW set me free on the roads of Germany. Where speed limits seem to be something that the Germans forget about, especially on the Autobahn. And that's good because this vehicle is completely silent. So. Oftentimes you have to look down at the speedometer, which is in kilometers an hour, to realize how fast you're going. The drive is very quiet. The i4 arrives for the first customers in the United States this fall with a starting price of $55,400. But be warned, the earliest you can expect delivery if you order one now is June 2022, because until then they are already sold out. I'm Nick Miles.